So, so we have 20 and 2. And then, and then she um, put all their shells together. And they had 39 shells, which is 30 and 9. And then, but they don't know, like, what, how many um, shells Raw had. So, this is like the very open. Okay, so that again, that represents what you don't know, right? Okay. All right, you're ready to join What does that represent right there? The extra that she brought in. Okay, so what part of the problem does that represent? It represents the where she went to buy some more stickers at the store. Okay, so that's the more sticker that she brought. which is this, and there's six of these and two of these, because these equal ten and these equal two, right. plus question mark. So why do you have a question mark there? Because we don't know what that number is. So in algebra, what would we call that? Um, it starts with a V. Value. No, um, variable. Yeah, variable. And what's this right here? This is um, 80. Time. Oh, wait, that's equal. And then this is 80. Whoa. 85, 87. 87. 87. Now, is and that that's a total? Yes, that's yes, a total, that's total once we add these together. And if we figure out what this is, we can figure out how many stickers she bought when exactly. she was at the, the, the store. Yes, All right, exactly. now, I want to know, is this, is, this a, is, is this an expression or is this an equation? Well, we are doing equation. It's Why? We are doing because an, an expression... Oh, doesn't have an equal sign or the answer, it just has this half. All right, awesome. If I, and I know the, I know the missing okay. number. So you're ready to draw your unit card. the entire problem. You have all the information that you highlighted. There, check that out. Now why did you do that? We did that to represent what in all. So it said so in the problem, was there a total in that problem? Yes, there was a total of 87 in all. Okay. So to get the amount of money she, um, she started with for, six, for um, fish stickers was 67. 62, actually. She started with 62. Well, what did they do, Bethany? What, what does it say in the problem they did? She added, she added on 25. Okay, so you've already kind of figured out what the variable is. So what we do is to figure out in the beginning, we take away 20 and 5. And what does that give you? 62, the, what she started the, what she with. Had you guys ready to do your model drawing? Yes, All right, you may begin. Rows of five, oh, five, and we made it. So, what? How much are all of those? Eighty-seven. Okay. Eighty-seven. And why'd you do that? Because these are the ones that she bought at the aquarium, and these are the ones she bought at the store. No, she so this these. is the variable. What's the variable? This. This is how much That's the what you're trying wants. to find out? Yes. Looks like you already found it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you think you're ready to do your model drawing? Yeah. Yes. All right. You may begin. Well, first, like, since there was 62 fish, we did 60 and then 2. And then um, it said that she bought some more fish, but they don't know how much she bought. So this is, like, the variable kind of thing. Okay. And then it said it got a whole bunch of 82. And then she had 87 fish stickers at all, so that's 87. So you just need to figure out what that pink spot is, right? Which is like our what? Variable. Variable. Okay, good girl. You ready to go? Here we have 62 of what she had in the beginning. And so 62, you take these two off both. And then you take these six off both. And you've got what's left. And so what is it you're trying what are you you're trying to find out? What the how many stickers she bought at the store? So extra stickers that she bought? Yes. Okay, yes. well it sounds like to me you guys are ready for your model drawing. Okay? Thank Alright. So Berto, are you guys yes. ready? Yeah. Alright, talk to me. We found out that um, uh, we subtract 
So tell me about this. What does this represent here? That is the total that they got, the 87. Because that's the total of all the fish stickers. Okay. That's what that is. What's this over here? So where's that in the problem? It's over here. Okay, so that's what they started with. Yes. Okay, great. It sounds like to me you guys are ready for your model drawing. Okay. This, is, this represents how many stickers she had in the beginning, which is 62. Okay. And then Okay, but you're, you're already giving me the answer. Don't give me the answer yet. What is the problem? Just said she had 62, and then what did they do? What what they end up with? Uh, 87. All right, so you're going to try to figure out how many the extra ones they got. Okay, great. And, and and she had bought, and we figured out that she had bought all the answers. Um, and because we did 62 minus 87, and we got how much she bought. Was it 62 minus 87 or 87 minus 62? Oh, okay. All right, well, it sounds like you're ready to draw your model. Okay, do your model drawing. Um, this is 87 stickers. That's what it represents, and that's 62. And we will be... What is it you're trying to find out? We're trying to find out how many stickers that that he gave that uh, I mean she gave to that she bought to get 87. So they had 62 and they got, got some more? Yeah, we're going to figure out the difference by taking 62 out of 87. Okay, right here we have See, at first, on this problem, it says she had 62 to start off with fish stickers. So right here is what she had at first, but right here is what she had when she bought some more. So what we're going to do is take this away from this. So, you know, there's six. Let's take it away. Six more bars and two. Are these these? See, because they're sticking with two. And so, right here, this is 20. So... Our answer, we got 25 that you bought in the store because we took away 62 away from the total she got from that. So that's how we figure out how much you bought in the store. Okay, so you're ready for your bottle going. Okay. Jericho, tell me about it. What's in each box? Seven. Seven. the problem. Twelve. You guys. Seven groups of twelve. It's seven groups of twelve. No, what, it, it, it's, let's see. What's the problem saying now? It says seven. How many boxes? Box, uh, twelve boxes of seven in each. Oh. So is that what that is that what that shows? Yeah. Or did you reverse your numbers? We reversed. Okay. Right. Okay. A box. Okay. And then these represent muffins. Okay. And there's seven muffins in each of the boxes. Okay. Awesome. Let's we'll start thinking about unit bars. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we got twelve boxes with seven cupcakes in each of them. And we had to put them to the side because they were kind of hard to Ready circles are unit touch. bars, but we didn't put them together because, like, every time you touched the one, circles and are the unit bars, or are they the boxes? They're the yeah, the, the boxes, boxes on this. Yeah. And then each one has seven of these little um, units. And Which represents what? One muffin. Right, yes. One muffin. Okay. Look at this. We need, we need, we need a tin one. You got. You can get whatever you need out of those. There's plenty of everything. I'm sick of doing that. I'm sick. I'm sick. How sick are you on that? Are you like really sick of it? Um, I have. It's really hard.
are just stacking 12, 12 on one of these blocks. Well, you might think of a better way. This is how many? Today. This is not homework. We're going to do this today. We have three Actually, we have four left.